Hello, my name is Julia Love. I'm a independent moving and handling practitioner and I'm going to show you how to position a sling using a full length tubular slide sheet. We're using this technique to minimize the amount of rolling for the patient. We've already positioned the slide sheet and if you want to know how to do that, there are videos on the MIP UK YouTube channel. So the slide sheet is in place. We're using a divided leg sling and I'm going to position the sling in between the two layers of the slide sheet. So it's important when you're positioning the slide sheet to make sure that the open edges of the slide sheet are along the sides of the patient. So making sure that the label of the sling is facing downwards, so it's the right way for the patient, I'm going to use the loops to thread through. So I'm going to thread one loop through the middle and pass that across to Chris. Lovely. And he's going to pull through gently. Let's just go down a little bit. And then the hip loop I'm going to pass underneath and bring that through. And then also the leg loop. Can I just pass that through? If you could grab the leg loop. Yes. Right. So, so we're just bringing that through. Now to make sure that Colin doesn't move too much. I'm going to hold the top layer of this tubular slide sheet while Chris brings the sling gently through. So standing, both of us standing in a step stance. Okay, lovely. Whoops, that's it. We need to ensure that Colin is positioned centrally on the sling to make sure he's comfortable when we hoist him. To do that, if you get the hip portion of the sling and just hold it up. You'll see that we've not quite got it even here. So I need to bring the sling through a little bit further. To do that, Chris is going to hold the top layer of the slide sheet and I'm going to gently bring the sling through. Are you ready? ready. So just sliding it through, very easy to do. Just to make sure that it's central, we'll hold it up again. I think I might have overshot. We're gonna go back a little bit further. Just a tiny bit lovely. It's very easy to reposition. The other thing we need to do is make sure that the sling is far enough down. So holding the leg piece of the sling, just hold it straight out and you'll see a line of that bottom seam. I think that's very slightly too high. That line needs to sit at the base of the sling. So we're going to bring the sling very slightly down. So very gentle move down. We don't have to go very far. Ready, steady, slide, lovely. And I think that's now much better position, great. So having positioned my sling, I now need to take the top layer of the slide sheet away. To do that, I'm going to bring my hand between the two layers of the slide sheet, and I'm going to grab the top layer of the slide sheet, and fold it back on itself, but on top of the sling. So I'm just pulling on a diagonal and bringing that top layer out. So still pulling on a diagonal, bringing that top layer out just to expose the sling. So I can just untangle that, make sure that the sling is out. And that's as much as I need to take out. At this point, the sling is ready to be positioned um, under the legs. It would be nice to bring the patient into a slight profiling position, much more comfortable to hoist him.